Yeah, yeah. So you look up and the planets are going forward against the background stars and then backwards and we call that, there's a word for that, retrograde. And they do the loop the loop and nobody understands it. And the fact that no one understands it is presented as evidence in some bits of scholarship as evidence for the divinity of the heavens because that is the handiwork of God and we are mortal and God is immortal and omniscient and so we can't possibly know the mind of God. Mm -hmm. So you're just content just in your ignorance watching planets. There were some attempts at this with the geocentric epicycles and all of this, but this was, it was well accepted that you'll never understand. Newton comes along, writes down equations of motion, equations of gravity, and kind of on a dare, he invents integral and differential calculus. <laughs> then he turned 26. <laughs> this is why Isaac Newton is my man, okay? <laughs> Just to make that clear, Okay. among many reasons. But so he writes down these equations and he can now demonstrate full knowledge of how, why, and where, and what the planets are doing. And so potent was his new theory of gravity that it worked for moons of Jupiter orbiting Jupiter, not just planets orbiting the sun. And this was the first indication, maybe this is not just a local truth, that maybe it applies across the universe. And this was a little bit of heresy, mm. thought by some, that, in fact, Newton was accused by some say, uh, uh, Isaac, you've left nothing for God to do. <laughs> and that's simultaneously a, a dig at him, but also quite a compliment that he can actually understand the mind of God. Well, that's where, that's where, this is where it got interesting. Then you went off. I mean, everybody knows that gravity is apparently is ubiquitous and, and universal. But then you went and asked about chemistry and physics, constants and and I hadn't really thought about that before. Is, is the chemistry of the sun and the chemistry of the earth and the chemistry of the furthest thing you can think of, uh, are the laws about bonds and pairings, and so, are they the same everywhere without exception? It was not obvious. 